Here in Shropshire is a farm that's frozen in time. Lost in Victorian rural England. Now a unique project will bring it back to life, as it would have been in the 1880s. Such an amazing piece of cake. That is just <laughs> tremendous. Ruth Goodman, Alex Langlands and Peter Ginn are taking up the challenge of living as Victorian farmers for a full calendar year, from the depths of winter to the warmth of summer. They'll wear the clothes, eat the food, and experience the day-to-day -day life of rural Victorians. They'll rear Victorian breeds of animals. They're an unruly bunch. They really are. That's the first lamb you've actually delivered, is it, Alex? Hello, sweeties. They'll grow crops. Fingers crossed, I'll get it right and I won't look like too much of an idiot. And get to grips with the crafts and skills of the age. This was a time of agricultural revolution in Britain. But the industrialization of farming would wipe out centuries of traditional skills. Go, go, go. Where are you, Alex? Good grief, young man. Thankfully, there are a select few who still keep them alive. And this is going to encourage the tree to fall in the direction we want it to go. That's certainly the theory. With their help, the team are about to turn back the clock to rediscover a lost world. <laughs> But first, before winter sets in, they must restore their dilapidated farm cottage. I've never used anything like this. You're one it's excited scary. lady, I love it. I do, I, I have. So crops using only horsepower, whilst dealing with the perennial problem of the British weather. Unfortunately, it's just not working out for us today. The problem is, is it's just so wet. And take charge of livestock, learning shepherding skills the hard way. A nightmare. This doesn't bode well for the year. They'll be getting to grips with every aspect of life on the Victorian farm. Victorian farm. Sheep grazing in a field. It's the 1st of September. Ruth, Alex and Peter arrive at their Victorian farm. This is the way to travel, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Yeah. Ruth Goodman specialises in domestic history. She'll run the cottage and be responsible for the dairy and poultry. The Victorian period is, is a really, really interesting moment in history. It's a, a time of most enormous social change. There's new ways of feeding ourselves, there's new ways of clothing ourselves, there's new ways of housing ourselves, there's new ways of transporting ourselves. You know, we all base our modern living on the things that came out of this great turmoil and experimentation. What's in this one? <laughs> Oh, this is mostly cooked games. Yeah. Archaeologist Alex Langlands will be responsible for growing crops and rearing the animals. It's about getting up first thing in the morning um, and coming in, you know, when the sun goes down. It's about spending the time outside. It's about e eating fresh ingredients, uh, growing your own ingredients. I mean, it really is about going back to a way of life that I think many people today would love the opportunity to do. Peter Ginn, also an archaeologist, is keen to get to grips with the steam and horse-powered technology of the era. We all know about the big events in history. I want to know about the day-to-day -day living within that context. There are massive changes in industry and also there are massive changes in agriculture. Because it's such a moment of change, you've got the old and the new sitting right alongside each other. So you've got ancient crafts that are almost unchanged for a millennia sitting right alongside a time of mass production. Next time on Victorian Farm, building pigsties. We've had snow, we've had rain, and it's just so cold. Back-breaking laundry duty. And it's flipping hard work. Fine. A new arrival to get to grips with. And we're doing then. You're doing very well. And a Victorian Christmas to look forward to. <laughs> Next time on Victorian Farm. It's January and the farm needs urgent repairs. Time to call on the blacksmith, the basket maker and the woodsman. Ginger beer required. <laughs> the wheat crop is under attack. Time to master pest control. There's one. Victorian style. 
the reality of life without modern comfort starts to bite. Bathing in a room with no central heating is pretty cold. And with spring around the corner, the first baby animals arrive. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Next time on Victorian Farm, it's spring. There are pigs to be delivered and chicks to be hatched. The hens come under attack. Got another one, Peter. A prized ewe's life is in danger. The foot rot's got in, and I'm deeply, deeply concerned about this. And a lame horse could jeopardise everything. The team turn to science to help save their crops. If they succeed, they'll have something to celebrate at the May Day Fair. If they fail, all their hard work will have been in vain. Oh no, I've broken it already. It's make or break time on the Victorian farm. Next time on Victorian farm, it's summer. This is the most fantastic train. There are sheep to shear and cheese to make. Women's work doesn't make it any easier. Alex takes up a risky new enterprise. How long is it going to be before I get stung? And it's time for the all-important hay harvest. If you get it right, you've got a hayloft full of hay for your cows, your sheep and your horses. If you get it wrong, it could spell disaster for a farm. Next time on Victorian Farm, the year-long project nears its end. But first, the team face their toughest challenge, the wheat harvest. There are urgent repairs to be made. Water. Yeah, right. Cutting edge technology, Victorian style. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. And crucially, they need dry weather. Otherwise, a year's work will have been in vain. <laughs> <laughs>